It has been 51 days today since I have escaped the clutches of social media. It can oftentimes feel isolating, like you are being plunged underwater and all you want to do is emerge for air if only for a moment. Yes, it would be nice to have some non-virtual friends. Just one. Um, no matter! You can always create friends. <laughs> Do not get sassy with me. Guten Heim. Now let me explain it how we do it down here. <gasps> to keep the mind sharp, you must vigorously train. <laughs> Even if that means you have to reach in the darkest places. High five. High five. Uh, nothing. I used to take elegant nudes. Respectful. Classy. But I no longer trust the device and its inhabitants. This is because of the cloud. Anyone can see you. <sighs> I figured it was time to, to dive into the abyss of instrumental learning. A two, a one, two, three, four. Another turning point, a third step in the hurr. And I show the lights of the sweet cup. I was on my third attempt at making a podcast, but I just couldn't find that key ingredient in making other people want to listen to it. Just go and call in and uh, let's be friends. <laughs> the lines are open. I figured my voice was enough. I figured me talking was enough. And that is my Darth Vader. <laughs> Creativity oftentimes drowns in madness. Yes, I cry a lot. It's good for the soul. Tool belt for the artiste. I've lost track of days. I wake up thinking it's Tuesday and it's not. I refer to them as new days now. And of course, after a busy week, I live for the weekend. When the mail arrives, I feel alive. Like I exist. The world moves so fast sometimes that we often believe if we don't fill every moment, we somehow lost it, but that is far from the truth. Because the truth is, life is everything. Tears, laughter, chaotic whirlwinds, and even the deepest of loneliness. And that is the true life of an artist. Now the quarantine's lifted. Do you think your life will go back to normal? There was a quarantine?